Hi, I'm Rachel, the CEO of Intrinio. In this video, we're gonna show you how to calculate the Piotrowski F-score using Python and Intrinio's API. So what is a Piotrowski F-score? The Piotrowski F-score, named after accountant Joseph Piotrowski, utilizes company financial statements and a binary ranking system to reflect the financial strength of a company. In total, there are nine criteria that make up the Piotrowski scoring scale, and a point is awarded for each criteria that satisfies the relevant conditions. These points are then accumulated, and the final number or ranking sits on a scale between zero and nine, where zero indicates a poorly operating company, and nine indicates a profitable, efficient company. So, how is the Piotrowski F-score used? Due to the Piotrowski F-score's effectiveness at finding companies that are reducing debt, decreasing the dilution of their shares, and increasing their efficiency, margins, and overall profitability, many investors find it a helpful tool to screen for companies to invest in. Additionally, some investors utilize the criteria on a quarterly basis to check the overall health of their portfolio. By tracking the mean Piotrowski F-score and trimming equities below the mean, while at the same time allocating funds to companies who score above it. So, what are the Piotrowski F-score categories? There are three main categories that make up the Piotrowski F-score for any given company and the accompanying scoring conditions. Profitability, leverage, liquidity, and source of funds, and operating efficiency. Satisfying any of the following conditions will increase the Piotrowski F-score for a company by one point. Otherwise, the company's Piotrowski F-score remains unchanged. First up, in the profitability and leverage section, a company will earn a point if they exhibit positive net income in the current year, positive operating cash flow in the current year, or positive change in return on assets or accruals in the current year. Next up, in the leverage, liquidity, and source of funds category, a company will earn one point if they exhibit reduction of long-term debt, year-over-year -year increase in current ratio, or no share dilution. All right, lastly, in the last category, operating efficiency, a company will earn a point if they exhibit profitability improvements or asset turnover. Okay, now that we've covered that, we can learn how to calculate the F-score. Utilizing Intrinio's data tag system and standardized fi fundamentals API, we can easily build out a functional pipeline in Python and quickly query the data required to calculate the Piotrowski F-score for any given company. We will be utilizing the Intrinio Historical Data for Company API endpoint. We will be using the following data tags with this endpoint. Net income, net cash from operating activities, return on assets, long-term debt, current ratio, weighted average, diluted shares, outstanding, and gross margin. Now, I will walk you through a simple three-step process for retrieving this information using the Intrinio API. I'll be showing you the code snippets, but you can view the full code example by clicking on the GitHub link in the video description. Okay, step number one. We first need to construct a function that retrieves data for the current fiscal year period and the prior fiscal year period. The historical fundy dataset function queries the current and prior year data for each data tag passed in as an argument and returns a data frame row with the combined current and prior period data. Okay, step number two. The second function, Piotrowski dataset, iterates through the requisite data tags needed to perform our conditional checks and aggregates them into a final data frame for us to perform our Piotrowski conditional calculations on. Okay. Step number three. Finally, with our Piotrowski dataset complete, filled with the requisite fundamentals, the last function, Piotrowski score, uses the current and prior period financial values for a company to calculate and return the overall aggregated Piotrowski 
F score. But note, in order to prevent returning a faulty score, if a company does not have a full fundamental history, perhaps because recently it IPO'd, then you will be unable to calculate the Piotrowski F score and the function will return none by default. All right, it's as simple as that. Now you know how to calculate the Piotrowski F score using the Intrinio API. Once again, to access the full code, click the GitHub link in the video description. And if you are looking for a data feed to power this type of analysis, click one of the links below to chat with our data experts at Intrinio or check out our documentation. Thanks for listening. And as we always like to say at Intrinio, we can't wait to see what you build with this data.